Mikhail, that felt like a very um, impressive, important win for today. Yeah, performance. big win for us. Um, it's another step as a team, I think, um, to come here against a top opponent, top manager, um, top world class player around the pitch, and to perform dominate the game and, and actually win it um, is very meaningful, so hopefully it will give the boys um, even more belief. Mm. How important do you, do you see it in, that, in, in, the, in the way that they then take the confidence from, from the performance, not just the result, but the performance? Yeah, I was really impressed. Race. I think uh, we are a really young team, but we showed a lot of maturity today, a lot of composure, a lot of courage, a lot of determination uh, to play in this stage in the way we've played. So um, that's easy to say, but actually very difficult to do. So. I think the boys um, were phenomenal today. Adrian, two here first. Uh, hi, Mikel. At the end of the game, you shared a real special moment with the fans, yeah. with all your staff and your players. How special a moment was that? And I think as well, Craig Shaka on TV described it as epic, <laughs> unbelievable. It was great. Um, they've been. Our supporters, they've been absolutely phenomenal. Um, they have transformed the club, uh, the energy of the club, that's my opinion. And they have transformed the way the team believes in what they are doing. And to share that with them away from home um, is really special. I have my family there, I have my son there in the middle of the crowd, so it was great. And also, just on Granit Xhaka, could you describe it almost as a heroic turnaround to see when you came in almost convincing him to stay and seeing how he's performing week in and week out, especially this season? He's a fighter. Uh, he's someone that is going to face difficulty and adversity. He's done that and now he needs to enjoy as well because he needs to learn to enjoy more the good moments and I think he deserves that. Change. Mikhail, did you? It was, that was uh, the first time I've seen three consecutive games at Stanford Bridge. Was that the first time you've seen three consecutive games at Stanford Bridge? I think very different. I think the first one, I uh, compare with this one, um, is very different. There are wins. It's so difficult to do it uh, against this club. <coughs> we, we've done it, but I'm especially pleased about how we won today. I think that reflects much more what we want to do. Okay. Can you reflect on the, the pressing and the off-ball work at your front three mm. and how important that was in, in forcing Chelsea into those long balls? Before? Yeah. They've been phenomenal. They, they have a really willingness to do it. They are capable physically now because they are a bit mature to do it and, and to sustain it. And uh, it's about the difference is about demanding them to do something, actually, them feeling what they are doing and how important and how beneficial it is for themselves. And uh, yeah, starting with Gabby, what he did today it was just phenomenal. Do they enjoy it? It seems like quite hard work. Yeah, you have to. Kai? Um, you're top of the league again. Very few people would expect you to be here at this stage of the season. Do you allow yourself ever to think second place would be a fantastic achievement or are you just focused on top spot? Uh, what is fantastic is to see the team taking another step, you know, and today was under pressure because yesterday we, we lost that spot. Um, we are we prepared again to, to come here and win, but understanding that winning here is it's a different story. And uh, today the boys, they've done it, so I'm really happy because we have managed to, to get that step. Just on Gabriel Magalhaes, he was very impressive there, a really mature performance, he's sort of coming on. Uh, what can you say about his uh, increased maturity and obviously getting the contract very recently? I think both of them. I think that pair, again, I think they were outstanding, both of those. And uh, and that's why we sustained them really well, especially when, when we had to defend open spaces, which um, it is very difficult again this place, what we demand them to do, but I think they did it great. Okay. Mikel, you went when you went to um, Man United early on in the season, you played very well for, for most of that game, didn't get the results. So what, what difference did you... Does it make today getting that result? Yeah, we like, what does that say about how we you like discipline on, on that game. We like the discipline that is necessary in certain moments to do what you have to do because if not you get punished. And uh, I think we learned that lesson really well uh, because again, we played really well there, but it wasn't enough to win. And that's the difference and, and what top teams are. Mikael, where are you, Mikael, where, where are you with um, talking about the title? Mm. You, you're not allowed to answer this question by saying one game at a time. A lot of people are now starting <laughs> to think, you know what? Do something. Just look at the at the last six years. What Manchester City has done with the best man in the world, with the best team in the world. They shown it consistently in every single competition, and uh, we have to be very, very respectful of that. We are getting much better as a team. We are competing much better. We are getting really good results right now. But this is a, a long, long shot. You you're in contention. We are today, but in football today and tomorrow is very difficult. So <laughs> let's enjoy tonight. Day in which Bakayo took a lot of hits. There seemed to be some 
suggestions that the other part of the team thought he was You saw me on that touchline. I was really calm and happy with the decision. <laughs> 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 I mean, he's being accused of diving, effectively. What did you Sorry? Say? He seemed to be accused of diving. Yes. What did you think? Okay. He doesn't dive. Yeah. How important is this gap? between you and Chelsea now. Graham Potter said on TV that Arsenal were ahead in terms of development of the better team. We also 13 points ahead of them, which is a huge gap between mm. such a strong team, usually ahead of you. Yeah, that's that's very unusual and uh, we need to make the most out of it. We had a really good start, obviously we are still very early in the season and, and we have to maintain that, but uh, that's going to be a long, long marathon. One more here. Mate, can I just want to ask you about Ben White's performance? I know we asked you about his England selection potentially with Really happy with him. With him, um, I think he's playing. He's played in different positions. I think he's accommodated himself in a in a great way to that fullback position. His understanding with the players around him is is top, and I really like. He always wants to be there. He trains every single day. He plays under any circumstance, and uh, I love the boy. It doesn't for me not to decide. If he does, I will be so happy for him because um, he deserves it.